Is that you, topping all your shots from the fairway and you can't figure out why? Well, today we're going to take a look at forward bend and side bend and swing plane. All those three are pals and they need to work together as a team. All right, so let's first define some things. So swing plane is the imaginary circle that the club is swinging on. All right, it's an invisible circle, tilted. All right, so here's a circle and we're gonna tilt it. All right, so this is a vertical circle, this is a tilted circle. The shaft wants to work on a tilted circle on the downswing. All right, where players go off is it's vertical. All right, we don't want a vertical, we want it laying down, shallowing. All right, that's step number one. Step number two, on the downswing, at that point, when you have the club shallowed, you can now add forward bend and side bend. This is side bend. This is forward bend. You put those together, there's your downswing with the hips clearing. All right, where players go off is they're missing that because the shaft is typically too vertical. All right, so if you add forward bend and side bend, you're just gonna dig this club into the ground. All right, it's not gonna be pretty, so players don't do it. Instead, if the shaft is vertical, they stand up because that's the only thing they can do to hit it. All right, so that's where players go off. So first, you gotta be shallow, all right? And to help us do that, we're gonna use the lag shot, which is an incredible training aid. All right, the lag shot helps you to feel the, the club head. All right, the lag shot, is heavier and whippier than your club, a lot heavier. All right, this is the heaviest version. They also have a purple version, which is great for ladies. I kind of like the blue one because it's really heavy. So when you train with this, you can really feel the club head. When you first start using the lag shot, you gotta be patient. Don't worry where the ball's going. All right, make sure you have a camera so you can see what's going on. And you're gonna start to see where this club head is in relation to your hands on the downswing. All right, we want it behind, not here. Work with a golf professional to identify why your club is vertical. That's number one. You gotta identify the root cause of why your club is vertical to begin with. We're not just vertical for the heck of it. All right, so that's an important point. And then once you do that, then you're ready to add your forward bend and side bend. So I'm going to go ahead and illustrate forward bend and side bend. I have a nice shaft in my awesome PXG dress, which I love. All right, we're going to go ahead and go into our backswing and make sure our shoulder line is pointing down. And then as we move into the downswing, we're going to let our chest fall as we rotate our hips open. All right, we're not gonna hang back. We're gonna let our chest fall and rotate. So there's our side bend, all right? So you can see the shoulder line is down, all right? Where players go off is they get really level at the top and then they proceed to stay level and just throw the club down. And that's where casting comes into play, all right? So we really need to maintain our shoulder line down with our side bend to strike the ball pure, all right? Because again, the ball's just sitting here, way down there.